and welcome to today's vlog as we continue in our series looking at some of the men and the women we read about within the Bible. The focus of our vlog today is a man that we find within the New Testament and that is Jairus and you can read of his encounter with Jesus in Mark's Gospel chapter 5 verses 21 to 43. So who is Jairus? Well, we're told in verse 22 of chapter 5 that he is one of the synagogue leaders. And after that, we're not really told much more about him. There's a couple of assumptions that perhaps we could make uh, because we know that he is a synagogue leader. We could assume that he is someone who is well respected. We could say he's someone who holds great responsibility and perhaps even somebody who is considered an academic. But when we're introduced to him in Mark's Gospel, we meet him at a time where his, the status he held or the intellig intelligence he had held no influence. And that's because we meet Jairus as he approaches Jesus because his daughter is unwell and needs help. We're told in verse 23 that he pleaded earnestly with him. He pleaded earnestly with Jesus. My little daughter is dying. Please come and put your hands on her so that she will be healed and live. So Jesus went with him. There's something very simple here that could be overlooked, but I think it's definitely that's something that's worth stopping and paying attention to. In his time of distress, in a time where he didn't know what to do or where to turn to, Jairus stopped and he asked Jesus for help. Again, in theory, this is something that's really easy to do, to stop and ask Jesus for help. It's not something that's overly complicated. It's not something that requires a lot of steps. But I wonder for how many of us where we're in those times where we are, when we need help, where we don't know where else to turn. I wonder how many of us, and for how many of us, our first response is to stop and ask Jesus for help. Something that is very simple to do, but can have an incomprehensible effect. Now, during the journey to Jairus' home, he's informed that his daughter has died. And the other asked Jairus, why bother the teacher? Why bother Jesus anymore? But it's in these moments that Jesus turns to him and says these very powerful words that are found in verse 36. Overhearing what they said, Jesus told him, don't be afraid, just believe. Don't be afraid, just believe. Now, when we remember that this is a, an incident that occurred during the height of Jesus's ministry, he was healing people regularly, he was on the move. And as today's reflection says, the religious leaders were probably getting a little edgy. But Jairus had nowhere else to turn to. He had nowhere else to go. So he did exactly what Jesus told him to do. He stopped and he believed. And that's how today's reflection ends. That it doesn't matter how well respected you are, how clever you are, how sophisticated you are. It doesn't matter who you are or what status you hold in life because at the end of the day, the only important thing is to just believe. And there's something within the simplicity of it, of just believing, that makes it so extraordinary. It doesn't say just believe and do this or, you know, try to believe. There's this assumption within the statement that all we need to do is just one action and that's just believe. Because if we do, if we keep that simple but core belief of just believing in Jesus, then 
anything and everything could happen. And for Jairus, that's exactly what happens. Upon arriving to the house, Jesus tells the little girl, Jairus' daughter, the one who is dead, to get up and walk. And that's exactly what she does. So let's go in today with that on our hearts. That anything is possible if we just believe. That we can face any situation thrown at us if we just believe. And that we can have eternal life if we just believe. So let's be like Jairus today and in the days coming and just believe. I'll leave you with that thought. Have a lovely day, whatever you're doing, however you're spending your day. And we'll see you very soon.